So, Dr. Gabby, uh, I'm Hugh Tilson still, in case I need to introduce <laughs> myself after over 30 years of yes. friendship. Uh, and I can't believe that we finally have captured you in a room. I mean, you're so busy and overall everywhere uh, for this interview. Thanks for joining this series. This is Profiles in Public Health Leadership. Lord knows you qualify. You have the best profile I know. Uh, and a leader in every way I can think of. Chris Gebby, thank you so much for joining me at this at University of Kentucky Center for Excellence in Public Health Workforce interview because we're going to focus on your work in public health workforce. Why on earth did Oregon is paradise? Why would you ever leave? Well, I got recruited um, uh -huh. to come. I, I, Another job. My time looking was for you. probably up. Eleven anyway, years. Is eleven a long years time. is a long time, and in retrospect, maybe even a year or two too long. Uh, who knows? But Washington State had reorganized public health, yeah. had decided to take health out of an umbrella agency, stand mm -hmm. it back up mm -hmm. on its own, out of pieces of four other agencies, and was recruiting somebody to put it together. Uh. So it was an organizational development job, mm -hmm. which I had done in mm -hmm. Oregon in a different state that from the outside people think looks a lot like Oregon, um, but uh, again, a wonderful state with wonderful local health officials mm -hmm. of all stripes, of all a stripes. couple of long standing friends of both of us. Uh, Tom mm -hmm. Milne was right. in the Southwest uh, Interestingly corner. enough, trained as a public health pharmacist. pharmacist yeah. Who put together the statewide purchasing of family planning drugs sure for all of Oregon yep. to save money for all of mm -hmm. us. So he's a systems thinker from the get go. Um, I'll, another example, actually, of systems thinking in public health, as, as Washington State was contemplating health reform, he worked so closely with the hospital in his four-county district that mm -hmm. they paid him money to do community health assessments. That I thought they it was could a five-county district. Was it Clark? Clark, was Clark. Clark's Gamania, Clickitat, Cowlitz, and Waukiah come Somebody had dropped out by that time. Probably, yeah, they Cal you know how those Cowlitz, I think, went on off, off on its own. You're not nearly impressed enough that I remember that. I had, I, I'm in such awe that I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to say Clickitat 15 times Clickitat quickly. Clickitat 15 <laughs> times quickly. See, yeah. I just did that. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, systems thinkers in there. Mary Selecki, who's Mary now Selecki one of the state, outstanding state public health directors. I think she is the longest serving. She is now the office, longest serving yeah. and just recognized by the American Medical Association yes, for her leadership in health. She was up in a three-county district up in the mm. northeast corner of the right. state. Uh, but taking that, putting it together. And in Colville. She was, she was in, in Colville. Colville, yes. Very, oh, such a good memory. Yeah. Uh, thinking about the system that would work there right. under a new law that under prescribed law. it in a state with an active board of health, mm -hmm. which was a difference from Oregon. Right. So, so in addition to I work for the body politic, uh, one of the, the attributes of a leader is to create the conditions in which public health can be successful. And mm -hmm. that means developing legislation, which then has to go through the legislative process, uh, including, in this case, public health reform, a, a right. whole new public health code. Exactly. Exactly. Although they didn't rewrite the whole code, but at least they wrote the structural code. Right. And I'm, I am firmly convinced, I became convinced in Oregon and the Washington experience just drove mm. it home for me, that anybody who's looking at public health law and looking only at the specific laws, like what are you doing about STD or what are you doing about restaurant regulation mm -hmm. or what are you going to do about tobacco, and, and fails to look at the structural part of the law, who... Who is the agency and what is it generally empowered to do is mm -hmm. making a big mistake. Right. Because those structural pieces are what drive it. For sure. Uh, our, uh, I had already gone to North Carolina to be state right. health commissioner there. Uh, and uh, our paths crossed while you were state health director in, uh, mm -hmm. in Washington. Crossed many times for many yeah. reasons. But specifically crossed when there was a product tampering mm -hmm. uh, in one of the borough's welcome products that I was responsible for, Sudafed, in a grocery store in the state of Washington. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I just lifted up the phone and called you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you answered the phone. Here, yes. you, were, you were state health director. I lifted up the phone. You recognized the name. You recognized the importance of the issue. And you took the call directly yourself. Uh, a leadership attribute here. Uh, is that the leader owns all of the health problems of her state and is making priority decisions all the time about how to use her scarce resources. Mm -hmm. Here, having cyanide in a drug on the counters of the state of uh, Washington was clearly one of those public health emergencies where the state health officer simply did what she had to do. Absolutely. Uh, Even though it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been your first... I mean, it's not a, it, in terms of priority. the long-term issues to the state, it looked fairly early on like it might have been a specific deliberate act. Yep. Nobody knew what it was, and we had a panicked public. 
mm -hmm. uh, starting to worry, and we had to worry about how to tell them what to look for and what to do. Uh, but to not, it, it was a no-brainer to me. Of course, I'm going to talk to somebody who's working with the company right. because we've got to work together. Rather than thinking, well, the company's probably the enemy here. They probably made a mistake. I can exactly. hear people saying that, mm -hmm. but it's just no. We've got to get in on this yeah. together. It turns out it was a maniac who was actually trying to poison his mm -hmm. wife and get the. Uh, attention of the police diverted to somebody else, so he poisoned a lot of people. Yeah. What a tragedy it was. But, but what impressed me there about your thinking was that instead of using the usual public health responses, you went into the grocery stores and pharmacies where people were buying this product and put together a look before you leap campaign with, with the usual mm -hmm. public health graphics. In other words, taking the, the standard public health approach and applying it by analogy yes. to an, an unusual situation. Right. And we had an unusual opportunity there in that all of the health-related licensing boards were attached to this uh, new yes. Department of Health. Uh, yes. And so the Board of Pharmacy, which had thought it was a kingdom unto itself, was a part of public health. And we could say, no, you don't go galloping off responding to this, mm -hmm. regulating the pharmacy. You th we think about this as public health and we're all in this together.